In this lecture, I will tell some very important tool in detail. These tools are to be used frequently in Adobe Illustrator while you're creating projects. Pen tool. The pen tool is the drawing instrument in Illustrator. It uses anchor point and bezier curves to create graphics. Click, hold and move to the right on pen tool button to select between pen options. Select small arrow on the far right to release pen toolbox. Click on the artboard to create paths with straight segments. Click and drag to create paths with bezier curves. Close path while using pen tool. You need to click in the starting anchor point to close the path or if you don't want to close the path then you can press enter to leave path open. Add Anchor Point Tool. Click on a path segment to add anchor points. Delete Anchor Point Tool
Click on an anchor point to remove it from the path. You can do it by pressing alter with add anchor point tool. You will see that the plus sign will change into minus sign. Click on an anchor point with handles to remove them. Magic Wand Tool With the Magic Wand Tool, you select an object and the tool will select every object with similar attributes. Selection tool and direct selection tool Selection tool is used to select and move objects. Direct selection tool is used to select and move anchor points and lines and also it's used to adjust bezier curves. Selection tool short key is V click on object to select. Click holding shift key to select more than one object. Click and drag to make a selection area and select one or more objects. To deselect, click on empty space on page. Press backspace delete key to erase object selected. Direct selection tool short key is A. When the direct selection cursor is over an anchor point a white square will appear on its bottom right. The same square will appear black when the cursor is over a line. Click on an anchor point or a line to select. Click holding shift key to select more than one. Click and drag to mark a selection area. Everything within the area will be selected. Anchor points will highlight when selected. Shape Tools Graphic shapes can be easily created using the Shape Tool. Click, hold and move to the right on Shape Tool button to select between Shape Tool options. Select small arrow on the far right to release Shape Tool option toolbox. Shape Tool Select one of the Shape Tools from Shape Tool option toolbox. Click and drag to create shape. Click and hold shift key to create a symmetric shape. Click and hold alt to draw shape from center.
Select the polygon tool. Notice the cursor is now a different, smaller crosshairs. The polygon tool always draws out from the center. Click the mouse button, and drag outwards. Do not let go of the mouse button until the last step of this exercise. Rotate the polygon by moving your mouse in a circular motion. Add more The star tool the star tool is one of the great time savers. It used to be a real drag to create stars and starbursts now it really is just a drag. Select the star tool. Stars are always drawn from the center. Click the mouse button and drag outwards. Do not let go of the mouse button until the end of this exercise. Rotate the star as you are dragging it by moving the mouse in a circular motion. Press the up arrow key to add points to the star. Press the down arrow key to remove points from the star. Press the shift key to keep the star straight and aligned with the baseline. Press and hold the space bar to freeze the star and position it on the page. Creating a star numerically select the star tool. Click the mouse and release the button to bring up the dialog box. Enter values for the outer and inner radius, radius 1 and 2, respectively, and the number of points. The outer radius, radius is where the points facing outwards extend to, whereas the inner radius, radius 2, is where the points facing inward extend to. Modifying objects Modifying objects The simplest way to modify objects in Illustrator is to use the bounding box. The bounding box appears when you select objects with the selection tool. Text can be modified in the same way, with a few changes. Dragging the handles of a text box will reshape the box, but leave the text. A text line will also provide a bounding box when selected.
the paintbrush tool until now, we have been drawing predefined, symmetrical shapes. Now we move into the world of freedom creating freeform shapes with the paintbrush tool. Thank you.